Here we go, live and in color, Lifebox Media doing their exclusive run and check on Deep South Barrels with Scotch. If you remember a month ago, almost to the day, I sit there and I posted a video of me filling Sorsby Scotch into this barrel, this oak barrel. And the idea was for us to make a better Scotch. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, sampling this, we're going to sit there and see how well it has done. Now, first what you do, okay, is you take off this, okay, the cork. You take off the cork and you put it to the side because it's like the air. It's like putting two holes in a can of tomato soup, if you will, or tomato juice. And remember, we used to use the can opener and use one side open and oxygen comes into it. And then as you do that, okay, now we're going to do the other part. So we're going to put, uh, let's check the color and everything else to it. Okay. Well, the color is definitely darker. Okay, there's no doubt about it. The color is darker for that. We'll put this on top again just because, because I have this fly that's coming around and he wants to check out our scotch too. He's not invited. So deep south barrels right there. There's the first part of it is deep south barrels. So anyway, so... As I smell it, okay, it smells much lighter. It has a very nice, lighter smell than the Sorsby's did. Sorsby's is a nice, reasonable scotch, three years old, nothing fancy to it, a um, little sharp one to go down. This is much lighter than Sorsby's. So um, the, the aroma, the taste, uh, we're going to see the aroma, how the taste feels in a minute, but the aroma definitely feels like it's a, uh, it smells like a lighter scotch. So trying this out, we're going to sit there and we're going to see. It's much softer. I mean, as my good friend Max sit there and said, my co-host stated that it is, the bouquet is very much lighter. Um, a little smoky, and it is charred on the inside. Not a lot by any means, and I'm not a big, huge fruity fan, and I'm not a big, huge um, smoky fan as well. It's kind of very soft. It's, 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 not, it's not real peachy. has a little bit of a bite. It goes down smooth. Um, very, very, very interesting flavoring. Uh, so Deep South Barrels... Um, friends down there, Jeff and Max, you guys uh, have done a fantastic job on this oak barrel. I bought at the OC Fair, but they're from Texas. You can look them up, deepsouthbarrels.com, I believe it is. But fantastic, did a really nice job uh, making this barrel almost a month to the day later. Uh, I did this on the 27th, I believe. You guys can look it up and correct, it, correct me. But uh, I'm doing it today on the 26th, and it is it has done a very nice job with Sorsby's. It made it much smoother, much lighter. Hats off the Deep South Barrels. Um, nice job. Uh, really nice setup here. I bought the barrel with a stand, and a good friend of mine, Tito, as a gift, bought me the glasses in, the, in this metal frame. But a uh, really nice job. With this, I'm going to enjoy it with some friends tonight. I'm going to get some bottles and give some samples out to some friends of mine that love scotch. And uh, it's really, really a cool deal. So, again, Lifebox Media right there for Deep South Barrels. Right there, you guys check it out. Really cool. Really turned a, a, you know, a nice, light, a nice heavier flavoring scotch. It's a little sharper into a bit smoother in a, almost a month's time. I mean, now this is a smaller barrel. It takes more time when you use the bigger barrel. So this one liter barrel, I took a, uh, went to the store and picked up a bottle of Sorsby's, uh, $16.99, I think, on sale. Uh, you can get it for normally $19.99, $20 on the West Coast, depending on where, where you are. It'd be a lot more expensive, but, and it really did a nice job. It really has done a nice job on it. So, again, that's Deep South Barrels. Check out that. That's really, really cool there. 
I mean, Lifebox Media doing their little experiment. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm, I'm a Scotch connoisseur. Uh, the La Chevenet uh, restaurant in France has a few of these. Big shout out, shout out there to my friend John over there. Client as well, you know, uh, he has a few of these over there. He and I spoke about this for about two years now, and I came through, really bought one, really enjoying it. So Lifebox Media is going to put this out and show uh, everyone this is really a good deal. Um, it came as being something that was going to be a little bit of a project for me, but I figured I'd share it. The scotch is very good. The smell, for you guys to smell it right there. Oh, man, right there from Deep South Browns. You can smell it right there, running right underneath your nose right there. Oh, yes. Okay, it's funny as the air conditioner clicked on. The flavor is very different. It really added some taste to the flavor. Um, so I really have to give them a lot of credit. Um, it softened up a bit of a sharpness to it. Um, Soresby's goes down, has a little bit of a cut to it. Not a lot, but a little bit. It kind of, it kind of puffed it up a little bit. It really do, has done a really fine job on it. Like I said, you know, Soresby's I like is a cheap three-year scotch, a reasonable three-year scotch. I don't want to insult them. Um, I might try, uh, Clan McGregor an, another day or in a few months, I might try, um, Tompton single malt or a Glenlivet single malt, which are two of my preferable 12 year single malts. Um, but right now hats off to deep South barrels. Um, fine job, really nice quality, nice workmanship here on the, I mean, it's just the Oak handmade Oak. You can't just argue the barrels, just beautiful. And, uh, the glasses are really cool and the frame and, and everything else is really cool. And, like I said, you know, almost a month, it smooths out. A reasonable bottle of uh, Soresby Scotch, three-year-old Scotch, made it taste really smooth, competitive with any 12-year-old. I'll tell you that. It is definitely competitive with any 12-year-old Scotch. And I'm not talking about those uh, two-digit label ones, uh, two-letter ones, because I'm not a fan of that. No offense to the company, but um, I can say what I want. It is my show. And it is my company. But, but, you know, I respect. I respect everybody has the right to their opinion. And a lot of people like it. It's a very heavy selling scotch. So, but I prefer on a heavier day, on days that I'm drinking my single malt, which I prefer, is a Glenlivet or a Tomton. People who have not tried Tomton, Black Box, Red Label, um, absolutely 12-year-old Tomton scotch is fantastic. It's, it's right up there, right beside Glenlivet, 12-year-old. Both of them are 12-year-olds and really good. But anyway, you take this Soresby Scotch or a very reasonable Scotch and you put it in this barrel. I'm speaking for Soresby's because that's what I, what I have done. You smell the aroma of it. I, oh, man, that smells, it smells so nice. And it's done such a nice job evening it out. You know, I read a critic that stated that he had a very sharp saying about how how he didn't he wasn't a fan of Soresby's and it just was just was not good scotch well you know what that's in the eyes of the beholder he didn't like those comments that people say that and he might be an expert you know I've only been drinking it since 19 I've been drinking uh, Glen Livis since 1983 and Black Bull since 1979 and I used to drink Desmond and Duff which is no longer made and 1983 as well, and I've been drinking everything else since. And my and Tomton came in there as a very quick freight favorite in the last seven years, uh, right beside Glenlivet and uh, Soresby's is is a nice little alternative to a re, for a reasonable Scotch. This putting it in the barrel takes off a little bit of the edge. If you're a little edgy, adds a little bit of the flavor. Um, still has a little. The barrel makes it a little smoky. Not anything like, uh, you know, some of the more hard smokier scotches. But I'll tell you this without running too long. I'm going to keep this under 10 minutes. Look, Deep South Barrels, nice job down there. Jeff, Max, you guys did a great job down there. Thank you so much. Um, I'm glad I bought this. Very happy about it. Um, Soresby's, nice, you know, reasonable scotch. I, I got... got Nicened up here in this barrel. 
So we're going to say this is the Lifebox Media with the experiment of the oak barrel from Deep South Barrel and really close to a month inside the barrel with it. And it was fantastic. You can get us at Lifebox Media. Uh, you can look on here. Please subscribe. Please like the video. We appreciate it. Look for plenty of our celebrity uh, interviews that we have, red carpet interviews from the ESPYs, the Emmys, the Grammys, um, to every red carpet event you can think of. Uh, you can find us uh, all over social media, but look for our, look for our uh, page on there. Like and subscribe. You're going to see tons of interviews with everybody. Thank you so much, very much, for supporting Lifebox Media. And this is the Deep South Barrels experiment. It was fantastic. Definitely a positive. And please look up for our future interviews, plenty of them, and like and subscribe. You have a great day. Take care. God bless. And Lifebox Media is out.